Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to today's tutorial. And uh, today I'm going to tackle the issue of uh, handling images on QGIS. And um, I've had so many requests about this, so I'm gonna make this video so at least to uh, guide people on uh, how to do images. Uh, one, we had a scenario whereby um, you have, for example, the data I have here on my, my canvas, and uh, this data is all about uh, incidences. So, uh, probably you had images about these incidences, and you want to show uh, uh, probably images that are related to these incidences. So, um, in QGIS, there are quite a number of ways in which you can deal with this. So, I'm going to show you one, and uh, I hope that it will be helpful. You know, probably you can work with it in different projects. So, um, if you look at the attribute table for this uh, data, we have the scenario, but, um, we have these images, for example. So what we're gonna do is, um, this is basically an attribute table. So um, we have four columns, and uh, the fourth column is about image. So this image has uh, uh, the URL or the path to this image. So um, what I have is, um, I have images. So I have images and, uh, these are so we're gonna look at this link so under pictures and crops so under pictures crops we have these images here so um we're gonna show how to probably we want how to show if i for example click on uh, one of the pictures or one of the points on my uh qgs here and um, should be able to see the image that's related to this uh image uh, to this point that is so these are incidences. I've just uh, put random incidences. So uh, maybe ask uh, what they are, but they are basically incidents about crops. Um, so to do this, what we need to do is um, one, we need to confirm that uh, we have a column that at least uh, holds the URL for this bar for the images. So once we have this, we're gonna put it in such a scenario or in such a way that uh, we're gonna make this column that someone can view the image once you click. For example, using the identify feature. So um, what we do is uh, we make this one um, uh, active and um, I'm going to close that and go to the properties. So under the attribute, the form here, so um, you can select the image and ensure that uh, it's editable. And then um, we have a uh, text edit. So we're going to remain that uh, we do that way. So um, the next bit is uh, we're going to come to actions. So what we want to be to have uh, basically is um, the idea of uh, if I click on this point, for example, I should be able to see an image. Um, I can see the images of the different uh, points. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna add an action. So an action that will uh, trigger this function or uh, a certain uh, function that will show us the image. So uh, we're gonna come to the add action here. And so this is where all the magic is happening. So I'm basically using Linux. So I select uh, it's on Unix, and then um, I'm gonna give it a description. They're saying it's a mandatory description. So probably we can uh, showing us image. So basically, and then uh, the short name for the action that you're gonna have. So uh, so you can call it show image. Uh, maybe we can say view. Yeah. Then uh, the icon, I don't want to add the icon for now. So um, then you're gonna have, um, so the action scopes. So we have the canvas, which basically is the, where the map or where the points are, and then uh, the feature scope. So once you probably go to the, the feature. So um, after that, so we're gonna go to the action text. So under here, we're gonna write uh, some uh, stuff. So it depends basically with what you choose here. Uh, different uh, types have different uh, ways of writing that. So if it's, for example, the Unix, you're gonna use, for example, display, to use uh, probably image magic, or you're gonna use, um, if it's in Python, you're gonna write a Python script. If it's in Mac, I don't know for Mac, I've not used Mac, so I don't know that. For Windows, I get it's open, basically, so, uh, but I have to test that, something that I'm not very sure. Um, so on Linux, what we're gonna do is, uh, we can either use a uh, display, and I see there's uh, the auto fill that we have. So, because uh, in the at this in instance, we hope that uh, I don't know whether I have image magic. So um, I'm gonna use the normal uh, the Unix format. So I'm gonna put a uh, UG. Then um, I'm gonna put a space, and then uh, up down here I select the column that I want to use. And then once I select the image, I can click. Uh, 
can click that. So um, if you notice what we have done, uh, it has added this um, this text here. Oh, it's kind of um, brace, uh, braces with some with the column. So uh, with that, what we're gonna do is um, because we've already started, inserted, so it will basically run this command once we click or use the action that we're trying to build here. So after that, I just click OK, and then uh, my action will be here. So um, I have all this, then I can just uh, probably say OK, and then OK. So uh, what you notice, I'm still on um, edit mode. So probably now I can close this. Actually, uh, for this process, adding the action, you don't need the, uh, the toggle mode on. So you can probably put the, uh, take that off. Then. Uh, after that, uh, once you click on this, we still can't see our image because uh, we're still having the URL. So what you do is um, up here under this uh, and this toolbar, you see there's a uh, identify, then there's a uh, action. So um, we come and select the action that we created, there it is, and then we click on that. Bingo! So you are able to see the image that belongs to that incidence. So um. This is, this is one way of doing it. So you can see, we can see images about all, all these incidences and they are all different. Um, going back to where uh, we made the, for example, if I click on this, we have um, probably the, uh, I can test whether I have uh, image magic uh, you know, present. So you can click on that and then I uh, just put that. And then you come to the action view and then I click on that wow yeah so means I have uh, image magic so there are quite a number of ways that you can do this so uh, someone in Windows or uh, someone on uh, probably Mac would test the different uh, tools that they use to open the images uh, just to see how uh, the, the different functions that uh, one can use so um, that's uh, how you do that um, and, like you show the images that belong to the, the specific uh, points or incidences or whatever you want to show the image about and uh, the catches are all here and uh, this one can't run if you don't have the right type chosen here yeah so you have to take care of these um, the dialog box here that's how you do it so uh that is it guys so um if you have questions about this or you have other methods you can always uh, leave a comment below for others to benefit and also to learn more uh, I would like to interact if you have questions about this, leave a comment below there, uh, uh, I'll be glad to answer your questions. So remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos and um, uh, more guides from me and uh, we shall catch up uh, in the next video. So see you around.